Honestly, there came a point where I thought I was gonna cry because I still hadn't found the one. This is all I'm asking for. I'm asking for a place that has a nice view of a lake and mountains, good food, and nice guest rooms. Oh, and is available on the dates that I needed to be available. Yeah, this is turning out to be a really, really tough decision. out to India tomorrow morning. This entire trip was literally put together yesterday. We've been looking for wedding venues for the last few, honestly I think it's been about a month now and it's been super hard to figure out what the place is. There have been so many mixed reviews online and I want to pick a place after being there and seeing what it's like in person. I can't really tell what the vibe is like online. We're gonna fly out to Rajasthan and scope out some venues. We have a massive list put together everywhere we need to go. We're gonna try to lock this baby in by this time next week. You know how much I love chai and I'm gonna be having a ton of chai in India, so gotta make sure that my teeth stay nice and white. We literally run from one corner of the airport to another. Our flight came in a little bit late. We had to collect our check bags. Then we needed to re-get our boarding pass. The gate was closed. The plane door was closed. We ran all the way across from security here. At least two miles, I think. It was a lot. <laughs> it was just an experience. Um, so we got on the plane. We're in Udaipur finally. But our bags are still in Delhi. So I have no fresh clothes, which probably, hopefully, is not going to be a problem for too long but yeah you see all this this is just this grease definitely from just yesterday just from running around the Delhi airport so let's see what happens okay so we have made it to venue number one this is Fatehgarh and honestly it is stunning This is the first venue we're looking at. They welcome you with the tikka and these garlands, which is super sweet. Um, this place is stunning. It honestly, it looked great in the photos, but it looks so much better in real life. It's like a different vibe. I just want to book the hotel for this amazing view and pool. And that right there is the Monsoon Palace. So this is the lounge area. Walking in to the courtyard, which is surrounded by bedrooms.
package is still not here, so I am wearing my mom's shirt, my old pants from yesterday, no socks. So that is basically, you know, we're just trying to make do with what we have. I did have my makeup in my carry-on, so I had makeup, I had perfume, so we're okay in that department. Um, today, we're gonna be looking at a whole bunch of other venues. Basically, I woke up at 4 a.m. because of jet lag, but that's typically the time I wake up at home anyway. I made an Excel sheet of like different criteria for the venues we're gonna look at. I filled in the information for yesterday's hotel, and then today, as we go through, I'm gonna try to just like view the venue and then make notes on each of them. So among those criteria, it's just like basic information about the hotel, rooms, um, what's included in their rates per night, the facilities, the ambiance, the vibe, it's got all the good stuff. I hope that, you know, by me doing this research, it'll help couples in the future who are also planning a destination wedding to just have the information because I didn't feel like I had much information when I was doing my research online. Like it was just kind of confusing. So hopefully I'll be able to help some people out. Um, right now I'm having breakfast. We are at Fateh Nivas, which is like a sister property of Fateh Gard, which is the hotel venue that we're considering for the wedding. So they had a really cool breakfast. They have a lot of different options. Um, it looks really good. So let me show you what there is. So we have vermicelli upma, which I'm super excited to try. Potatoes and parsley, baked beans, uthapam chutney, and stuffed tomatoes, which I've never had before. We are at our second venue. This is the Lalit Lakshmi Villas, and the view right off the bat is so stunning. I particularly love the pillars, and I'm just about to head inside. It is so pretty. Look at that, that's the entrance right there, and about to head inside. Bedroom. You turn in closet, dressing area, huge bathroom, nice shower. Love this bathtub. Double sink, me. This is Hotel Laken. They welcomed us with this really yummy mango drink and the view is just insane. I particularly, I loved that when you enter, they had toll players and dancers. It just made the vibe so much more festive. So I think this is a really beautiful venue. So super excited to see what the spaces are like and what the rooms are like. A makeup room. And here they have some ironing people, just ironing outfits, like a whole ironing station. is a really nice size and would perfectly accommodate about 120 people. Okay, so we just checked out Lake End and I personally really like this property. The rooms were great. The venues look really, really good, but unfortunately it's not really available the dates that we need it. So um, the check-in time is one o'clock on the 13th and we need it on the 13th and 14th, but morning of. So I don't think we'll be going with this one, but it is so beautiful. Okay, so next up, we are at the Ramada. I, initial reactions, the ceiling is super high. It looks very grand to just walk in. 
and I think it's fitting our requirements for what we want for the venue, so we're just about to check out some spaces. So this is the space for breakfast. So this is just a multi-purpose room. So this is a glimpse of the entire property. option for Mahendi The bride family can meet here or this is where the groom can walk up So apparently anything you wish here comes true and it's a place for the warrior saints. Okay, so we are going into one of the suites. The suite, it smells amazing in here. Wow. This is like a little closet space, walk-in area. Ooh, and the bathroom. Very nice. Super nice bathroom. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells. We've just toured the Ramada Resort and honestly, I feel like after a while, your brain can only take so much. I'm like looking at this and I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. But then it's all kind of like blurring together. So I'm going to have to watch these videos back. But so far, it seems like a really, really beautiful resort. It's well, the area is huge. So you have plenty of room to move around. And the banquet hall was really nice. The lawns are really nice. So I am really liking this. We're doing a little food tasting now. Oh, yes. No, come on in. It's okay. Thank you. Oh, what's this? The cream of broccoli. Cream of broccoli, okay, thank you. So we're doing a food tasting now. I just had a starter, which was a tomato basil soup, and now this is the cream of broccoli here. The tomato basil soup was very nice, very soothing. Now here's the cream of broccoli. So here we have the cream of broccoli and the paneer tikka. It smells delicious. Thank you. We got the cream of broccoli. Okay, so here is the food. I just tried the cream of broccoli, which was really good. And now I'm going to try the paneer tikka. That's yum. Mushroom? Mushroom, salt and pepper. Thank you. Mm. We had a whole bunch of food. I am actually stuffed. And we took a look at the property. It seemed really, really good. So definitely a strong contender for the wedding. Okay, so fourth venue of the day, Chunta Palace. This place is very uniquely decorated, very, very intricate. Oh wow, this is nice. And this is the spa in the gym. the feeling of just coming back into your hotel room after a long day taking a shower and getting all cozied up in the blanket so today was a very busy day we went to five venues today and honestly there came a point where i thought i was gonna cry because i still hadn't found the one part of me is wondering if i'm being too picky but also i don't think so because i feel like there's different things that I like in different places, but they're also missing a key thing that is essential or is what I envisioned. So like, 
the first place we started off today with was we went to the Lalith. We went to the Lalith Lakshmi Hotel and that had an incredible view. Like the whole, the minute you entered the hotel, the lobby is really cute, really like grand. Lake view is stunning. The thing that I wasn't a fan of though is they didn't really have a decent sized banquet hall. It was quite small and the rooms to me I wasn't a, a fan of which is like a small thing but you know I was like mm, mm, it was okay. So the second place we went to was Lake End. The minute we entered they had toll players and dancers out front for another wedding that was going on which I really liked. I felt like that really helped set the mood. Then you enter and they gave a welcome drink, which was delicious. It was mango flavored. And you walk in to the reception area. You have floor to ceiling, massive glass windows with a view of the lake and palm trees. It's so pretty. The rooms were quite nice. The suites were nice as well, like cute, aesthetic, clean. Uh, they had banquet halls. They had a mul like they had multiple lawns out mm. front where you could just have different events. They had a nice restaurant. I really liked Lake End. The problem there though was they didn't have the days we needed, which I was a little upset about. But moving on, we then went to the Ramada. I liked the Ramada. The Ramada had excellent food. It had a really cool structure and. They had really nice venues, spacious. The rooms were pretty cool. They smelled great, looked great. Everything in the Ramada was pretty spot on. The food is really the star, I feel. The food and the, the cool style of the event venue itself. The drawback with Ramada was that there was no lake view. And I'm like, you know what? We're doing a destination wedding in Udaipur. I, in my head, think mountains, lakes, city of lakes. I don't know if I want to have a wedding at a place where there is no view of a lake. Where can I take the pretty lake pictures? And not just me, but where can my guests take the pretty lake pictures? So that to me was kind of like a miss. Then we did a brief stop to Chunda Palace, which is another popular venue. And I thought it was really, really nice location wise, great views all around, really pretty from the outside inside spacious rooms um but i wasn't like it was just like a little too much for my liking like too much color too much just too many like too intricate i guess it's just it's a vibe thing i don't know i wasn't really i wasn't really feeling the vibe it, it wasn't matching what i had in my head for the vision i have for my wedding so that was the thing with that and then now i am at radisson blue i'm actually spending the night here I just, as soon as we drove in, I feel like the entrance is very grand. Like you have this little roundabout entrance and you see these like massive domes lit up and it looks so pretty at night. I really am excited to see how it looks in the day. It just looks very grand. And then you walk in, you have this really like huge, like tall ceiling, floors on each side smells amazing and then you enter the guest rooms and they're like they're good quality guest rooms they're like standard hotel guest rooms it's clean modern got your basics so i feel like you can't really go wrong with with radisson blue like it looks amazing on the outside and we're gonna check out the venues tomorrow but there's like yeah this is turning out to be a really really tough decision because each place has its perks and it has kind of its drawbacks. This is all I'm asking for. I'm asking for a place that has a nice view of a lake and mountains, good food, and nice guest rooms. That's it. I feel like that's not a lot of asks, but I just haven't found that yet. Oh, and it's available on the dates that I needed to be available. So let's see. Um, we're going to see a few more places tomorrow. We're going to see the rest of Radisson Blue and... I guess then we'll make our decision, but yeah.